In this tutorial here, we're going to look at the path panel, working with paths in Photoshop. Here I have a picture of a building. I picked this one because it's got these nice sharp edges, very distinct features, very nice separation between the foreground and the background. So what I want to look at first is looking at the path panel. I'm going to open up that path panel called paths, and there it is. And what I'm going to start to do is play around with it. So here, Anything could be a path, realistically, if we're looking at these shape layers, uh, these tools. So I have my pen tool, I have this rectangle tool, so any of these shapes could be a path. So I'm just going to click on the rectangle tool. If I click and drag, what happens is, not only does a new layer get added, but also a path gets added here. And I can play around with the path in a few different ways. I'll show you in just a second. I'm going to delete that layer. The other thing I can do is actually click on my pen tool. So now I have my pen tool just like an illustrator. It allows me a few different options. I could use it as a pen tool, freeform tool, curvature tool. I could add and delete anchor points and convert the, I have the convert point tool which will take a sharp edge to a curve and vice versa. I also have my right or my white and black arrows, my direct selection and path selection tool, the move tool for that. My text is also uh, kind of played with as a vector. So these few tools here can actually work like vectors in Photoshop even though Photoshop's a raster program. They're kind of have vector characteristics but they are raster. They are made of pixels. Either way, what I'm going to do here, I'm just going to start playing around with a little bit of some random shapes. So what I look at when I'm a control panel is when I start to play with it, I have a couple options here. Now there is pixels but I'm not going to play around with that. I'm going to look at shape. If I just click on my pen tool and start playing around with the shape, what I can do is make a shape. The shape has a new layer and I could play around with the different fills. I could play around with a stroke if I want to play around the stroke and how big it's going to be. I can do all that and there is my shape with and also it has a path to it as well. Meaning I could always go back to the path and play around changing anything I want up with these individual points. Great, so there is a shape. Now the other thing I can do with my pen tool is make a path. So I'm just going to click on this. Now watch what happens when I make a path. I start clicking and a new path shows up, but no new layer. But I do have a new path here, which is great. So it doesn't show up as a new layer. It just shows up as its own path on whichever layer I happen to be on. I could use it on any layer. Now on this picture layer, I'm able to go back on this path, click on any part of it once again, play with it here, add new points to it, do whatever I want. Let's add a new point right there. Whatever I want to do with it, I can make that. Now that's great with my path. Now what I can also do with that is a few different options here. With my path tool, my path selected, I can add a, add a fill, I can add a stroke, I can make a selection. There's a lot of different things I can do with that. So if I want to add a fill, what it's going to do to this path to add a fill, I click on here, it's going to cho choose the foreground color, so there's my foreground color, great. Now the other way to add a fill, or I sorry, add a stroke to this, it uses the actual, it uses the brush tool. If I click on the brush tool, and I say that I want it to have a decent size stroke, and I want it to have a different color, let's say, any color, doesn't matter. There it is, there's my color, I'll say OK. And now I can add that stroke, and that should work. And now there's my stroke. Obviously, it has a very interesting kind of look to it, depending on what my brush tool is set to. Now, I'm going to do all that because I don't need that. But what I did want to show you is what I could do with this path. Now, I'm going to save this path, meaning I'm just going to double click on it and I'm going to call it triangle just for now. It doesn't really matter. I'll say OK. And what I can do now with that tool is I can now click on it, have it selected, and I could do a few different things up here. The most important things with the path tool, I can make a selection. With that, with that, I can make a selection, and I'll say, what kind of do you, selection do you want to make? I just want to select the whole thing, and look, now I make a selection. Now, we know there's a lot of different things we could do with selections. With my building layer selected, so I can make a quick mask, and now I've masked out just that area on that picture. I'm going to undo that. So I can, once again, click on that. I'm going to, un I'm going to undo that. And back to this again, with the path selected, I can make a mask, just like I did. So I'm going to undo that. There we go. And I can make a shape if I want to turn that into a shape. It takes the foreground color and makes it a shape. That's great. Now, going back to that selection, what I could do with that as well, if we remember selections, I'm able to click on the pen tool, or the brush tool, sorry, and actually whatever is selected, which happens to be this, I'm just going to be able to affect 
that area. So if I want to color inside of it, I can color inside of it, do whatever I want, and then it only affects the area that's selected. Now, obviously, it did it destructively on this layer, but if I wanted to, I can make a new layer, and I can paint, and it'll make it only added to that layer. So a way to do it non-destructive, if I ever needed to do that with that particular selection. I'm just going to delete that, not necessary. And Command D is also select, uh, deselect, so I can deselect my selection there. So once again, I have that path there, but I'm just going to delete all this, get rid of this, because I want to show you this building. So the great thing about the pen tool and paths is I can just click and drag and do kind of a decent job of selecting this. And just with this one here. Now, there's obviously a few different ways to select and to do things like this, cut things out. Now, because this is a straight edge, I'm using the, path, the pen tool and to make a path. Now, I could use masks. Masks are the best and one of the greatest things about Photoshop. But in this situation, because I have these hard edges, I'm just going to use the path uh, tool. And look at that. The path panel made that nice work path right there. And once again, I could add a stroke. I could add a fill. I could make a selection. I could add a mask. I can make a new layer, uh, a new mask, sorry. And there's quite a few different things I can do here. So if I did that, I made a selection. Well, there's my selection. But my path is saved. If I just double click on it and call it Save Building, there is my path. It's saved in here. Now I have it. I can do whatever I want. If I want to go back, I can change up the 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 path let me get back to not selecting it deselecting go back here on my path i can go back and like fine tune it fix it up if i need to uh but do whatever i want with it and once again with that select i'm going to click on that i could either command click or just press the selection icon down here and then i can make a mask and now it's masked out from here i could delete the mask apply the mask play around with the mask a little more using the brush tool with our black and white paint black paint white if i paint black it hides if I paint white, it shows. So there's a lot of different things I could do there, which is great. And I'm just gonna delete that, get rid of that for now, and just say delete, I do not wanna use it. Uh, the thing about masks though as well, if I don't make a new mask, or sorry, mask, if I don't make a new path, clicking on this building, if I click again, what's gonna happen is it's gonna add that path to the exact same path layer, which I don't want. If I do wanna make a new path on a new path layer, I just have to click a new path and just click and drag and now I click around and complete my shape and now I have a separate path which is great I have there as well so a lot of things I could do with that now I'm just going to get rid of that you can just throw that out delete it or obviously you could uh, just drop down and delete the path now I've converted a path to a selection now I want to do the opposite I want to co connect a, a convert a selection to a path so I'm just going to click on my lasso tool I'm just going to make a random shape here that's it. And I'm just going to click on my drop down and say make work path. And now with my tolerance at one, it made it, it turned that selection into a path. And once again, I can play around with it. I can click on it. I can move things around any way you normally would use a pen tool. I have a new path that I can play with, make selections, make clipping masks, turn it into a shape, whatever I want to do from here. So a lot of fun things we could do with that. Now, another thing we could do with this is I'm going to click on just the building one. It doesn't really matter here. I could take this path and automatically send it to Illustrator. I'm going to go to File and Export and Paths to Illustrator. Now, because I saved it properly and I named it properly Building, I'm going to say OK. And I'm just going to save it on my desktop, say Save. And I had one already called that. Just going to double click on Building AI which is already made for me. And look at this, I'm an Illustrator. Building AI, I'm just gonna click and drag, there is my path. And because it's made of vectors, it's made of those uh, characteristics that make up a path, the points and lines, that's it. Now it's a path, I can do whatever I want with it in Illustrator if I ever needed to. Okay, there we go, just to show you that as well. Now the last thing I wanna show you is if I was able to do this and click on this path, and have it selected. I don't know if it works this way or another way. I'm kind of interested to see what happens here. If I were to click on this, what I want to is define a custom shape with this. And I want it to be with just this path. But, oh, there we go. So I select it. I have my, my pen tool selected. I'm going to say define a custom shape. Now, obviously, this shape is uh, interesting to this particular building. I'm just going to call it building once again. And what I can do is just say, okay. 
And now I'm going to deselect it, Command D. I still have that path. I am just going to go to my Shape Tool, click on Custom Shape Tool, and now look up here. With my Custom Shape Tool, I go to my top here and I click here, and look, I made a new custom shape. I can click it, and now it becomes a normal shape layer. I could change it, it adds its own layer, it's kind of like its own um, special shape. I can, once again, I can play around with it if I want to with my um, direct select tool. I could make it something else, or it's a shape now. I could add a stroke to it and a fill and, and all these different things that I could do to it. So that's just to show you the shape, um, the, the path to the path panel, and how we use the pen tool to create that and all the different and interesting things we could do with the paths panel and paths in Photoshop.